Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Vibing with Regina. <laughs> In today's episode, we'll be having a skin talk, specifically geared towards people with the skin condition, pityriasis, like you know, this chronica, PLC for short. In this episode, I will be showing before and after images again in terms of my skin update and I'll be discussing new products and products that one should have for use when dealing with the skin condition among other stuff. However, before I officially begin, I am going to sort out something to eat then get to it. So I tried to get like some chicken and fries earlier on and unfortunately neither of the two restaurants I went to had any so I had to settle for jerk chicken. I wasn't feeling for jerk chicken but it was the only other option. Okay, now let's get to it. Uh, so this camera is a bit tilted. I don't know why. But it's the only straight to it now what is PTRS is like you know this chronic according to Dermot a website dedicated to everything skin it says that PTRS is like you know it is is an uncommon cutaneous rash of uncertain etiology the acute form PTRS is like you know it is it virally form is acuta also known as pleva and the chronic form PTRS is like you know this chronic PLC which I have sit at either end of a disease spectrum with many patients showing overlapping features. The eponym Muka Aberman disease is sometimes applied to the entire spectrum of pityriasis like in Odis, but is often reserved for the particularly severe ulcerous necrotic variant of PLEVO. Yeah, that was really a mouthful. <laughs> but yeah. You may be wondering what causes pityriasis. Pityriasis likely in this chronica. So the known causes are one, a hypersensitivity reaction to an infection, be that a virus, bacteria, or parasite, an inflammatory reaction to medications such as anti-TNF agents, statins, antidepressants, vaccines, and radiocontrast dye, a low-grade lymphoproliferative disorder. I don't know what that is. Also, where I'm considered, my body just went through like a, its own mental breakdown in the summer of 2017 and whoop, my body's reaction to stress in that a doozy. So, what does pityriasis like, you know, this chronicle looks like on a fair complexion or Caucasian person and I will say to you that it appears in the form of small red papules smattered across the body on your arms, trunks, back, legs, wherever and it will look very harsh and irritated and it depends on the severity of it when you have it. However, for dark skinned people like myself, I just have hypopigmented skin like I do receive the papules but it dries up and just disappear overnight and leave like this golden coin shaped looking spot yeah I used to tell myself that I look like a leopard skin goddess yeah so we've refreshed on our memory what is pityriasis what causes pityriasis how pityriasis appears on light and dark skin now how do they treat pityriasis when i went to the doctor and got my diagnosis i was prescribed with antibiotics doxycycline and this thing emulsifying soap to bathe with um Advantan and hydrocortisone for irritation and I was told to use non hypoallergenic soaps etc 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 the doxycycline 
worked for three months and then nah. where the Advanta and hydrocortisone was concerned I never really had to use any because I didn't really suffer from like irritation on my skin and there was no use for it so I basically was collecting them and then for the emulsifying soap it's very annoying to use you have to boil up water and put it in there to soak and that was annoying so like I can recommend using soaps like simple soap the pear soap the brown one and any soap that is for people with skin disorders you know brands like Cetaphil, Abena etc 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 I advise the use of essential oils on your skin because it's normally rich with vitamin E minerals and it helps with the glowing look on your skin like mine is doing right now etc 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 in some countries some people are able to get access to phototherapy which usually is like a narrow band of UBB they use that to treat we don't have that out here in Jamaica and this thing called methotrexate or other immunosuppressive agents may be considered for refractory or for very severe case mine is not a severe case the only thing that the doctor told me is that you know there's no cure for it and it goes away on its own time and it can go away and come back but all of these medications are just used to help with the appearance and to keep it a bit in a sense now what i'll be showing you guys next is like my skin update for the last year and now and what i've been using on my skin so in these pictures you these pictures are from the last year and before this was all my skin appeared and look and while I was on medication I was taking my doxycycline like clockwork on time and all that jazz and then after coming off it I had started you know using stuff like herbal remedies cerus tea neem tea aloe vera tea burdock root tea anything that is bitter you know because they're recommending you know that bitters are good for your skin and it detoxes your blood and all of that jazz and it kind of helped better than the doxycycline did so i would advise to use that now in these current pictures this is how my skin appears now so i do have the spots but my skin yeah in these pictures you see that my skin still has spots on them but it's a bit more blended and what i've done is that i mix toner inside my essential oil and sometimes my lotion or moisturizer when i use it on my skin to help even though even out my skin tone before especially if you looked on the previous picture last year i had them in my face right here i no longer have them I've been drinking water guys and minding my damn business drink water and mind your business and that will help your skin a lot I try not to go out in the Sun because the Sun can be a good and bad thing for your skin so if you should go out in the Sun like you know that early morning Sun between 6 and 10 a.m. you can take in a little bit of that but then once you start sweating in that Sun and then you sweat and the sweat runs onto the areas on your body that are irritated and have these rashes it will start to itch and then you want to scratch and we do not advise that no 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 right now on my body the areas that are covered in spots are my legs mainly from the thigh down it used to be covered all over on my hand but it's not as severe just one or two spots yeah eat lots of vegetable take vitamin e capsules and anything anything that's good for your skin so guys here's something to know stay away from fast food or lessen your fast food intake 
one of the things I realized upon having this skin disorder when you have a lot of fast food it triggers other skin issues for example if I should eat fries or chicken or anything oily within a certain time span I break out with liver spot and it will affect me here on my chin and on the back of my neck it's not cute so avoid fast food as much as you can drink your water eat your vegetables eat as healthy as possible I'm not saying that you have to change your entire diet but there are some diet change that you have to do in order for your skin to heal properly etc so guys I've had people on my YouTube of the fair complexion reach out to me asking me what can I do to my skin to help it you know appear better or to have the disorder go away and I have to remind them constantly hey this is something that goes away on itself you can only help in its appearance and you know keeping away keeping it abate in terms of not letting it get to a severe state but the reality is that there's no cure for this disorder and what I do in terms of helping and healing my skin I cannot vouch and say that it will do so for your skin as well I can only talk from a dark skin the perspective on what helps my skin and remember so I will take advice from Rastafarians that practice herbal medicine and I bought bitters from them as well that I intake so like I try to do like at least a two week or one week a month bitters cleanse where I just drink like Cerise tea for like one week an entire morning straight and that do helps and one of the big things that literally help with my skin healing is to stay stress free once I am stressed out I experience clear-ups and darling it's not pretty it's really not well it's not that to say that I, I, I become like horrible looking or anything I'm just not used to my skin having this skin condition I've had it for from 2017 to now almost more than five years and I'm still not used to it so guys I'm not gonna lie though I still have it in mind that I plan to visit some dermatologist sometime soon I don't know when to like get a skin checkup to see if there's any new medicine in the country that I can try to do some justice to my skin or I plan to visit some herbal doctor like one of those certified and degree trained individuals to see what's up and it has nothing to do with my blood because I did a blood test upon going to the dermatologist the first time and there was nothing in my blood to indicate that okay this is the reason for your skin disorder I I use this product on my skin by Airtons. It's a Jamaican brand and they sell yeah, they sell like a mixture of body oil from all type from castor oil, coconut oil, all that. It's here's a picture of the of the product which I'm talking about. If you guys like, if you can get access to it, be sure to try it. And even if you don't have the skin disorder, it's a good product to use on your skin and it lasts long. I've had mine for almost two months now and it's still going it costs like sixteen hundred dollars in the drugstore pharmacy anywhere that sells it you probably have cheaper prices somewhere in jamaica i don't know yeah also you can try african black soap on your skin because that's a good soap to use but try not to use soaps that can be drying and irritating one of the thing about the skin disorder your skin has to be moisturized a lot the moisturizer is your best friend take it from me don't be like me that only put on lotion and moisturizers when i'm going on the road because sometimes i can't bother now to new subscribers and viewers even my current viewers if you guys have information on this share it with me because i'm always open to learning about more about the, 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 the I'm always open to learning more about this disorder and everything that comes with it, how to treat it, la di da. Yeah. I feel, I don't know. Gosh, I'm thirsty. Probably drink some water after this. So yeah, I think that's it, guys. No, wait. 
last thing if you should use lotion on your skin nothing fragrance scented please perfume scented lotions are not a go-to for your skin however i'm not gonna lie there have been times due to not having any lotion and then my skin appearing dry and ashy i end up using the ones that i'm not allowed to yes i'm guilty of doing that because honestly it's either go on the road looking ashy or go outside and look like here yeah, a girl bead her skin are dry and all that and one of the things i love and i've realized recently even though in my head people are staring at my skin and thinking that i have leprosy or some severe skin issue there have been people that up till this day still see me and my glowing will oil skin and tell me that they love my skin and it's beautiful and that kind of helps with motivating me and helps with my self-esteem when i think that i'm looking in quote unquote cranny because that's how i deemed myself i was like lord my skin look cranny but it's not yeah and it doesn't end up my modeling because there are photographers that i work with that are fascinated with my skin and they, they literally only collaborate with me just to shoot me and my skin and my best friend says that i shouldn't be phased out by it because i look like the milky way my skin looks like the milky way it's beautiful so that helps me stay confident sometimes well most times not all the time <laughs> yeah so that's it guys this is the update video i will post a lot of pictures after this to spam you guys and show you you know brown skin girl skin just like pearl oh it's pearling and all that jazz <laughs> remember guys beauty is not only in your appearance it is skin deep it's what's underneath yeah i'm sure you've heard that before but i'm just reiterating that point <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching my video please remember to like comment share and subscribe i have two videos uploaded privately that i want to show you guys but i'm not able to as yet one is for a photo shoot that i did in saint mary and another doing a music video with popcorn and tony and sing da -de da so when that is out i will post it so the public can see it until next time, thank you for vibing with Regina. <laughs>